Hi everyone, welcome. Thanks for joining me tonight. So today I took a uh, book called Awake in the World. It is uh, 108 Practices to Live a Divinely Inspired Life by Deborah uh, Moffitt. Don't mind all my uh, bookmarks in there. But um, I opened up the page to chapter 88 and it is called Put Your Inner Housekeeping First. And without reading this, what I'm just going to get to is... Um, I have some things going on um, that I am looking to uh, kind of go outside, right? And do um, th this type of healing work for helping others. <clears throat> but, you know, I asked for messages today and then that is what I opened it up to. So what that is talking about is um, basically... It's really taking a look at um, not just like spring cleaning your home, right? But if metaphorically we were spring cleaning ourselves, what could we clean up, right? What could we um, declutter? What could we release and let go of? What could we shine up um, and brighten up so that we're feeling refreshed, renewed, etc. And so this is something that, you know, I'm, it's always a um, kind of a work in progress. That's the way that I look at it. It's, um, it is a practice, you know, meditation is a practice. So, so it is something to necess to kind of always be aware of, of where am I personally at um, in my kind of if my vessel were my home, right? My my home cleaning journey, right? So, so things like this might be, um, have I, do I have some stuff from the past that I'm carrying around and can't let go? And because I can't let go, everything feels heavy, right? Or am I carrying around... Um, You know, whether that's um, old relationships, you know, anger, emotions, all different types of things, right? So what am I carrying around? Um, what types of things on the inside would I want to polish up and shine up? So so if we look at that and, and we think about has our light become dimmer? Like, let's just imagine that, you know, we've got this light bulb inside of us, right? And there's dust on it, right? So it's not shining as brightly as it maybe once did, or maybe the bulb isn't as screwed in as tightly as it could be, right? So unless you take a closer look, you're, you're just going to be working in light that's less than it needs to be, right? So by taking a closer look, what are the the things in my soul that maybe have gotten dusty because I have been too busy focusing on the outside stuff, you know, the the life stuff, right? That I haven't sat down enough with myself to kind of like sit with a dust cloth, right? And just say, you know, where are you at? We're just going to kind of clean things up. We're going to let things go. We're going to move through this. And that dust cloth may turn into a, you know, a towel that you're crying in, right? So just kind of uh, something to think about when, you know, when you're looking at spring cleaning, what a great time to, you know, maybe at the end of, you know, it's, you know, in the beginning, if you have never done this, it's like, yeah, people might do that once a year. And so they're kind of thinking about that because if they're in a quiet meditative state while they're cleaning, then they're thinking about stuff, maybe processing things, maybe releasing things, right? But when we can begin to learn how to spring clean, um, not just, you know, once a year, not just once a month, not just once a week, but daily and then multiple times a day. We check, where are we at? Where are our emotions at? Where are we sitting? Do we love ourselves? Are we happy? Are we, um, 
peaceful? Are we content? Are we, um, you know, being pushed down? Are we suppressing things? Or are we trying to run away from things? So it's really just a, kind of a touch point to look at that. So anyway, with that being said, I thought that I would do a reading with a couple of angel decks today. And then one uh, is also mermaids and dolphins, so kind of fun. So I figured that I would um, pull a couple cards and see what would be helpful for us to know. These, This particular deck that I'm going to use right here, um, it's called Angel Therapy. It's by Doreen Virtue. And so I will um, just ask for um, to be shown cards that would be helpful for the collective and what's going on right now, um, especially in regards to the spring cleaning. What is it? What type of healing are we going through that would be helpful? And again, remember that if you are here and you're listening to this video, the energies have aligned and there's going to be a message in here for you. So, all right, we'll take the first card. It says crystals. <laughs> no surprise. I always get this one. The energy of crystals supports you and helps you with your present situation. So taking, you know, asking yourself, what is your pre present situation? What's going on? What are you experiencing? What are you going through? Are you having high anxiety? Are you having depression? Are you having, um, you know, health ish issues with different things? Because there's generally a crystal that will help and many crystals help, um, like they're kind of, they cross, you know, so one crystal can help with many different things. They help clear your energy, help um, restore your vitality. There's many, many things that crystals do. Um, so, so keep that in mind. All right, the next one that we're going to go to is clear yourself. So ask the angels to release any toxic energies that you may have absorbed, okay? So this I want to talk about because anytime that you go anywhere or that other people are in your space, we, our energies start getting mixed up, right? So um, somebody might come into your home and, um, for example, they're, they're fine, they seem fine, but wherever they just were, there was a lot of energies and they pick some up and maybe their vibration is really high, um, so it doesn't show that much, but they still have these energies on or with them. So um, uh, just for instance, I was just out shopping and um, there was, you know, I just notice a lot of stuff <laughs> when I'm out and um, it's like, you know, coming home and just uh, being aware of that, clear clear yourself. And again, you can clear yourself with crystals. I'm sorry about my fan. You can clear yourself with crystals, with sage, um, scent, um, incense. So um, also like wearing black obsidian that helps absorb energies when you're out. Crystal quartz will help clear you. So there's a variety of things to look into um, with that. Because if you are literally carrying around someone's stuff, especially if you are an empath, it is hard sometimes to distinguish what is yours and what is somebody else's. So when you clear yourself and you clear out the energies, you open up the windows and you, you know, let things clear out. If you can do that every day, um, even a couple times a day, um, you can start to recognize what is your own stuff. Because if you feel out of sorts for some reason and like nothing happened that seemed, um, seemed that it would cause you to feel like that um, many times that's what that can be also it can be um, the moon that affects your moods but um, just keep that in mind to clear yourself um, and by the way there's many crystals that absorb energies and then you recharge them in the moon or you can clear them with salts or different ways um, one other thing card here that I got is Archangel Raphael the healing angel is with you supporting your healing work okay so um, There is definitely, this is coming out loud and clear. 
um, if, if you are a healer, um, what happens is that people are drawn to your energy. And so, so you have um, energies or energetic beings that come by you and basically they're attracted to your energy, right? So they want to be by you. And then so, um, you know, the healing angels with you supporting your healing work. So it's like, okay, well, when you go out, um, if I were out all day long and I say I was in stores and whatever, I can, I can get drained like a battery, right? Like a battery. If I'm not careful in setting myself up and, you know, asking to, number one, be protected, and two, to have um, the divine love and light that just flows through me where I'm not using my own vessel's energy. But if you're not careful, it can happen. And so then you feel exhausted when you come home when you didn't really do that much, right? And so it's a matter of um, knowing that you're a healer, People like your energy, but you could use crystals for all of this, okay? All right, so we're gonna, um, uh, yeah, I'll just start with, I'll just leave those three, and then we'll go to the, um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a little farther. I'm gonna take two more cards on this deck, okay? And we'll shuffle this one more time. The next one is mediumship. <laughs> um, you have the natural ability to connect with departed loved ones. So yes, I am a medium. Um, and this is, you know, when I say energies, when you're a medium, what happens is like you literally connect with all energies, right? So it's kind of like you're at this zero point gravity. And so you can connect with higher energies and lower energies. And um, so so that's why as a medium, you just wanna um, be careful um, to watch your own energy, right? Take care of yourself, um, but you have the natural ability to connect with departed loved ones. Okay. Take another one here. It says Earth Angel. You are a light worker who has come to earth to teach about love. Okay. And so this is like learning how, first of all, to be loving of yourself. Because when you can get to that place and you accept yourself in every moment who you are, um, and you go through all these range of emotions because you don't always understand what all this stuff is about, but the way to get through this is to process the emotions, let them out, however that's gonna be, forgive yourself for how they came out, um, <laughs> you know, um, just accept that this is part of the journey and the journey of life literally is peaks and valleys, peaks and valleys. But when we start to learn how to pay closer attention to our emotions and be more aware and we make more loving, kind, wise choices, choices that um, are about the way that we would want to be treated, right? So this is about, you know, we have to, to do this work as a light worker. Um, you know, these are lessons that we're going through so that our emotions aren't so far apart, right? We don't have such highs and such lows where we get to this place of complete and total peace and everything simply is what it is. We move through it. We um, we accept. We don't judge. We, we're, we're, um, we just are. And it's our energy that heals, heals the... Uh, environment, the world, everything around us. And, and then it's like a pebble that's thrown into water and it causes ripples, right? That go out. So, you know, it's just like kindness. If you're kind and you go out and people are raised, their vibration is raised. Um, and then they go out and they pass that around and right. Same kind of thing goes on and on. All right. So now we're going to take the next one, the Archangel 
power tarot cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley, I'm sorry, um, Radley Valentine. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> okay. So this is a, um, a good reading. I think this hopefully will be helpful some, for some people who are having some experiences that they may not understand because this was a very long journey for me, not understanding all the stuff that um, I thought was happening to me, but really what was happening is I was just noticing everything or um, it's kind of like life moved into slow motion, therefore I can you know, see, I, I guess. <clears throat> um, okay. All right. What, what, what um, else would you like to show us here today for the collective? What would be helpful for uh, anyone who's tuned in and listening to here? Okay, please show me what you'd like us to know. Okay, the two of Gabrielle. Make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. So lovely. Um, two gentlemen are walking along the beach. They've got an Gabriel is flying over them. The card is orange, um, which represents your joy. Okay. And um, Gabriel is known as a, um, the angel of divine communication. Right. So... Um, state your state what it is that you'd like to do um, ask for help and guidance but then slow down pay attention and look for the signs and be grateful be full of gratitude for, for all uh, first of all of all the communication that comes your way like when you notice a sign and you're like thank you thank you thank you for showing me it's crystal clear now I've got it um and also be grateful for all of the gifts that you've been given in life. Um, okay. And all that you have. Your family, your friends. Okay. All right. The next one here is solutions. Arch Archangel um, Zadkiel. Success that comes from objective compromise. Self-control and patience. Forgiving and healing energy. So just like I said with an earth angel, this is where we, how we get to that point is we learn to forgive ourselves so that we can have self-control and patience. And with that, we have the healing energy. So um, this card, this purple card represents, um, it represents our third eye or intuition, um, the number on it is 14, so that actually boils down to a five, and a five is about new beginnings, okay? So there's some solutions for new beginnings. Success comes with objective compromise. All right. So the next one is Ace of Gabriel. A gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration. The chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. <laughs> So in this, um, it's like she's moving on because she went from A to two, or A to two, <laughs> Ace to the two, right? And so it's like taking a step. Again, it's the joy. There's a gift. The gift is passion. The next one is to make bold and ambitious choices with that passion. What are you going to do with it, right? And um, that that um, one falls under the healing the healing card of Archangel Raphael, okay? All right, the next one is Four of Raphael. Seek out the other possibilities, look for the magic in life, and be aware of your own emotions. Um, young girl's playing on a beach with some shells, and she's looking a little forlorn. Um, Raphael, the healing angel, is kind of... Um, mm, Trans, translucent in the background. You can see him, but he's still a little bit translucent. So it's saying, you know, seek out the other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. So be aware if you are feeling sad, because this is 
if we live in sadness, right, then we can't get to the happy stuff. So we really, when we find ourselves in this place, yes, we have to allow ourselves time, right, to heal. And, and we have, and there are times, of course, we'll be sad, right? But, but, especially as you get better at managing your emotions and understanding that everything is, is what it is, everything is a lesson, we're here to learn, we're here to evolve our soul, then we learn to live less and less in this energy of sadness. And we say to ourselves, what is the lesson that I'm being taught right now in this moment? Um, you know, now a lot of times we can look back in our life and we can, now we understand what that lesson was, could have been years ago, you know, months ago, whatever, right? It takes hindsight. But, you know, to be a master, we want to learn how to manage our emotions in each moment so so it's like okay yes i recognize i feel sad so i'm going to not run away from i'm gonna do a little bit of processing a little bit of release however that is but then i'm not gonna wallow in it for days and days and weeks and weeks i'm going to recognize where i'm at and then i'm going to make a conscious choice to shift my vibration by leaning into things that bring me joy Music, writing, painting, art, um, a conversation with someone. Um, it's not always just running out and shopping and doing all of that, right? It's like getting in touch with your soul. So um, think about that. And let's see what the next one is here. <clears throat> Five of Raphael. So again, another step in progression. Everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver linings. Um, this gal has her, oh, I'm sorry. She's, she's opened a bunch of boxes or gift boxes on the ground and it looks like she's trying on a new dress, right? And yet she has her back turned to Raphael, but so does this other little girl on the beach. It's kind of like he's off in the background. It's like he doesn't have to say to her, hey, I'm here, I'm here. It's just learning to understand that they're always here and we can always ask for help. And Raphael, again, is the healing, the healing um, angel of healing. So it, she is wearing a, um, a green dress, by the way, kind of like a mint color green. And I'm just going to read this again. Everything happens for a reason. Release regret. Embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. So, so my feeling is, is that in this one, something didn't um, happen for her that she, like, like she was going through something. But then she's got these gifts. And, and yes, like I said, about going shopping or whatever. Well, we might go shopping and we get something that kind of lifts our spirits a bit. It's like, okay, lean into what brings you happiness, what brings you joy, right? What, um, search for the silver lining. So anytime something happens that doesn't feel good, keep saying to yourself, what did maybe this person teach me about myself? What did this situation teach me about myself? It might be that I'm stronger than I thought I was. It might be that um, I'm more valuable than I ever dreamed. Um, and and I truly love myself just the way that I am. Um, you know, it's, it's finding peace with who you are at your um, true essence, right? Okay, so that's that. And then we're going to take this... Um, Last deck, Mermaids and Dolphins. This again is by Doreen Virtue. So we got a trifecta of Doreen Virtue here today. <laughs> All right. All right. What would you like to show us here today to, um, that'd be helpful for everyone in this reading? Let's see. Please show us what would be helpful for us to know in this reading for the collective. I'm going to just shuffle one more time here. Okay, the first one is pay attention, and we have a mermaid and a dolphin. 
Notice repetitious signs of your inner guidance as they can yield valuable information. Okay. So these are called synchronicities. So let's say that you happen to be in a store and you see three ships in a store. Okay. Now a ship might, you know, maybe right off the bat that doesn't, you know, give you something, but it starts getting you thinking like, why am I seeing ships so much? Right. And then it's like, what happens is this spiritual journey. It's kind of like this. I, I like to have this vision. It's like if somebody gave you a big puzzle, huge puzzle, like however many pieces, right? A really big puzzle, but there was no picture on the top of it. And then you had to put it together except for, you're not really given the whole puzzle at one time. No, nope. you're basically kind of throwing one and you're like, oh, okay, when am I supposed to do this? That one puzzle piece might be those three ships. That's one synchronicity, one little piece to this gigantic puzzle of this journey, right? Um, and then something else will happen and maybe you'll see 999 on license plates three times like within 10 minutes and you're like wow that's that's a synchronicity this is like spirit and angels and guides trying to get your attention they're trying to tell you something right so then you start to look into different things because you are getting these synchronicities um and just because you got 999 in the ship on the same day doesn't everything is connected but it doesn't mean that it was instantly directly connected immediately because you saw them like hand in hand in that moment <laughs> so so you have to kind of do some searching but the real thing is is pay attention like if you have this which i would like to call an opportunity to be sitting at a red light right even though you might be in a hurry it's like take the breath and go i know that this happened for a reason because everything in life does right everything happens exactly as it's supposed to so then say to yourself okay this happened for a reason why did it happen is there something that i'm supposed to see is there something a song on the radio that i'm supposed to hear is there somebody sitting next to me that has something on their car it can be bumper stickers it can be billboards it can be colors it can be all these things and then all of a sudden things will start happening and if you're paying attention you will start to see the signs to help you on your soul's journey okay all right the next one is self-employment you are a born entrepreneur and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities that's wonderful <laughs> i'm all about that so that's great and i'm grateful for that and it falls under the card of solutions and um, clear yourself okay so what ideas do you have that um, you've been thinking about maybe you are working for someone but you're like oh I don't know if I can take the dive and be like self you know self-employed right what if you turned your thinking around and leaned into what you want and you put trust into God and to the universe and you kept your vibration up as much as you can and every time you recognize that it's falling you're like okay I'm gonna sit with this for a few minutes but I'm going to take steps to raise my vibration by eating healthier by drinking more water by getting out in nature by listening to music to, by dancing by talking with people who encourage me right all right next one is waves of prosperity New abundance and exciting opportunities wash over you now. And so how appropriate that right after the self-employment is this one with waves of opportunity. So I love that kind of how this is unfolding. So pay attention. Is there something that you have this idea about, about um, that you're either really good at and you just haven't taken the plunge to do it? Are you tired of working the job you're at and you just are really getting itchy to do it? Pay attention to the signs because it might be pointing you in a direction of a space to rent. It might be pointing you in a direction of a person to contact. Um, it, might, it might lead you to a store that says, 
like say it's like the sign of the ships, right? You're like, oh yeah, I need to get something for my boat, right? So you go to the boat store to pick up something for your boat. And at the boat store, you run into somebody that you know who said, that you used to do the same kind of thing with in school or something and you get to talk and then you're like they're saying yeah i really want to do it and you're like no way so do i and so then you know things start to unfold right and um as you work in your joy and you live in your joy and you are helping the, the collective then the waves of prosperity just come over you you know you shift from I want to do this all for the money to I want to do what I love. And when you do what you love and you are following your soul, the prosperity just flows in, right? Okay. So the next one is break free. Try different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn. So if you are feeling stagnant, right? Really stagnant and everything is the same old, same old, same old, same old. It's Groundhog's Day, right? You have got to stir it up so that you can raise your vibration and you just, you, whether you have to have conversations with the family, whatever that is, it's like you have to let them know, I have got to shake things up here because my energy is too stagnant. I need to get it flowing again so I get in um, flow with the universal chi, the universal energy. So that's about... Um, taking it in but it is also about giving it out it's receiving and it's this uh, you know like a circular uh, cycle you know um, but break free from stuff that you are feeling shackled by um, that you are not you're it's just not bringing you joy anymore and I don't mean to say like break free from your family but if it is every single day where you walk in the door and you make dinner and you do this and you sit down and you watch TV and you're like, then these questions start to come. Is this it? Is this really all there is? Is this what life is about? Come home exhausted? No, there is more. This is where we start to long to get in touch. Um, we long, we desire it so much. And so it's like, okay, what am I going to do? What shifting anything just the smallest things can start to help you feel more free and that would include going back to this spring cleaning of your home so releasing clutter start with your closets start with the things that um you've tucked way back you know like it could be clothing it's like get, <laughs> let the old stuff go like um meaning let go of whatever you know I've got you know if you've got four different sizes of pants in your closet it's like okay um whatever get down to two if you need to um 